Hello everyone and welcome to The Earth Report. I'm your host, Andy Klein. Well, in addition to causing mass incarceration, countless lives lost, and more than a trillion dollars to the U.S., there's new evidence that's emerged that the war on drugs is causing rapid deforestation and the rainforest of Central America, including Honduras, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. An article published in the journal Science indicates that drug traffickers are slashing down forests, often in protected areas, to make way for clandestine landing strips and roads to move drugs, and forests are being converted into agribusinesses to help launder drug profits. This is in response to the U.S.-led anti-drug trafficking efforts, according to the lead author of the report, Kendra McSweeney. Researchers found that the amount of new deforestation per year more than quadrupled in Honduras between 2007 and 2011, the same period of time in which cocaine movement spiked in the country. Local communities are found to be carrying U.S. currency, which is extremely rare, and when asked about the rapid deforestation, the locals answer, Los Narcos, or drug traffickers. The cycle of remote drug trafficking fuels perpetual problems for the rainforest. McSweeney and her co-authors say deforestation starts with the clandestine roads and landing strips that traffickers create in the remote forest. The infusion of drug cash into these areas helps embolden resident ranchers, land speculators, and timber traffickers to expand their activities, primarily at the expense of the indigenous people who are often key forest defenders. In addition, the drug traffickers themselves convert forests to agriculture as a way to launder their money. While much of this land conversion occurs within protected areas and is therefore illegal, drug traffickers often use their profits to influence government leaders to turn a blind eye. McSweeney says that the U.S.-led military interdiction has succeeded mainly in moving these traffickers around, driving them to operate in ever more remote, biodiverse ecosystems. She says reforming drug policy could help alleviate the pressures on Central America's disappearing rainforests. The war on drugs was first declared by U.S. President Richard Nixon in 1971. And that does it for me. I'm Andy Klein. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.